what's up like boys and girls some of you might have come here from my instagram from where i have disappeared for almost half a year and the reason for that was a scary disease called autoimmune encephalitis um, i also promised in my insta to film a video about what exactly happened to me during that time and that also was about half a year ago <laughs> sorry about that so here we go first of all let me just tell you that autoimmune encephalitis is a condition with a small survival rate and i am very thankful to live in the united states because many countries do not know at all how to treat this illness and send their patients to psychiatric asylums till the rest of their days. I also want to thank our good friend Olga, a wonderful neurologist who gave advices to my own doctors who contributed to saving my life and also to my boyfriend who basically saved my life and continues to do so. Now, autoimmune encephalitis is a disease that happens when body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy brain cells, which leads to inflammation of the brain and psychiatric symptoms as a result. Main symptoms of this disease include seizures and hallucinations. I had it all. I was checked for literally everything, but the doctors couldn't figure out what triggered my disease. So here is my story in order. One day, me and my boyfriend went to um, a few stores for food, right? Um, I felt fine, but once we got to the second store, I started feeling weak to the point that I couldn't even stand. So my boyfriend brought me home, uh, helped me to the bedroom. I stayed in my bed uh, for the next few days. I remember watching some movie. That was basically the last thing I recall. Uh, my vision got blurry and I started feeling nauseous. I do not remember anything else. So. I do not remember how I got into the hospital, so the rest of the story is gonna be from what my boyfriend told me later. So my boyfriend called the ambulance because at that point I was not able to stand up. He had to lift me up to take me to the bathroom. I was not able to do anything at that point. So I got to, to the hospital, right? And um, I started acting as in one of those uh, exorcist movies. I was screaming something in Russian. And for those of you who doesn't know, I'm originally from Russia. So in the middle of the night, one of the nurses calls my boyfriend, asking him what language I was speaking. My boyfriend is Ukrainian, but he speaks Russian. So the nurse asked him to come to the hospital so that he could translate what I was saying because nobody could understand me, obviously. So he did come and that was basically the only time uh, he came to the hospital to see me because of the whole corona situation. Nobody was allowed um, in the hospital. After that, the only times I saw him was um, when I was hallucinating. Uh, but those hallucinations, they seemed so, so real that I thought he was actually with me, but he wasn't. And uh, later on, when I felt a little better, I also saw him on FaceTime. And that's it. He never never visited me because of the corona. So back to my first night in the hospital. It's 
since I was kicking and fighting and trying to run away, the doctors had to tie my hands um, to the to the bed I was laying in, and they had to put me in the induced coma. So I I stayed in that coma for three weeks, so almost a month, which is considered to be very good, as. Um, some people with this condition stay in a coma for for like a year or even more while i was in a coma i saw tons of weirdest dreams and um after i woke up i couldn't speak for a pretty long time and i also couldn't answer some basic commands because of um, that um, severe fever I had uh, and inflammation of uh, most parts of my brain, everything I saw was blue. That sounds really weird, but that's how it was. Also, the nurses, the doctors, everyone I saw didn't look human at all. Everyone was like alien looking besides they were looking blue everybody had those giant blue eyes eyes which um took half of their face or even more again <laughs> really weird but that's um, how everyone looked in my eyes and again i had very very bad fever every single day when things got a little bit better and I remember seeing my boyfriend uh, on FaceTime he was uh, he started asking me some questions and I was supposed to blink whenever something he said was true and like not blink if something was not true but like for example he would ask me if like uh, is it 2015 right now and I wouldn't blink because it was 2020 or he would ask is your car black and I would blink because um, it was actually black uh, so as you can tell I started responding some basic commands by that time but I still couldn't speak back then um, however I was given um, a pen and a paper uh, and I was trying my best to to write on it, although my hands were sh shaking so bad that I couldn't really write very well, but it was some way to communicate. I should also mention that I had a tube in my throat because I couldn't breathe on my own, and I had another tube in my stomach because uh, I couldn't eat on my own and I still have scars in my throat and in my stomach which you probably can, can, cannot see. Some days they're not really visible, some days they are and uh, back then I kept um, having seizures pretty often. As for um, hallucinations, they were very strange. For example, um, I saw my father, who, as I thought, came to visit me. However, I didn't see him for, uh, for over 10 years. And there was no way for him to even know that I was sick. But it seemed so, so real that when I actually was able to speak when I was um, on a phone uh, with my boyfriend I asked him uh, where my father was if he was staying with us um, he was very surprised to hear that from me because uh, like in reality my dad never visited that was just the hallucination. <laughs>
I was not going to cry. <laughs> Why the hell I didn't bring any napkins? I also thought that my boyfriend came to visit, although he was not allowed to because of the whole um, COVID stuff. But he later told me that he was um, there in, in the hospital almost every day and he was trying to see me, but the nurses didn't let him. So um, those were my days in ICU. Yeah.